what's up welcome to this tarot and oracle video yay a uh, collective message if you have never been to a collective message welcome to one it's very chill casual we just talk about the vibe the energy that you're currently kind of sitting in and just kind of clarifying any confusion you have about what is happening outside that is actually correlated with inside your beliefs, the way that you look at life, the way you look at yourself, uh, your morals, your ethics, the way you balance the receiving and the giving uh, in terms of like how much you give to others, how much you give to yourself, where do you do that, all that fun stuff. Um, we really go into kind of the, if you will, the shadow side of more of the kind of chaos in our life. And that is a great way where you can find um, how you can control the chaos. And I know it might sound like, what? I can control my own chaos? Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't control outside in terms of, uh, you know, you can't be like, this person go over there and they do that now. Uh, more so, it's you have to look at yourself, control yourself, and then outside of you is gonna be reflected like that. Um, but it's also in terms of your belief and your beliefs, period, period, baby. Um, that's something to really focus on because it's really individual and prone to just fit in with you, no one else, you know, just for you. You are special, you are the star, you are the celebrity, you are the main character in your own story. And I am so grateful to be able to just give this to you and help clarify and hopefully, you know, release that confusion and sit more into what really you want to focus on that maybe you're being distracted by other stuff and you're like oh i forgot about that but yeah let's focus on that it'll help also you feel better too at the end of the day when you can just sigh and be satisfied with how much you've done because you do you do so much every day for you and for the whole world and you try your best and it's really easy to kind of get down on yourself too especially if you have a perfectionistic attitude or you know you grew up being conditioned to be like that i get it but you deserve to like have a breath of relief have a night where you're just chilling doing whatever um so hopefully this will help you get there all right enough of that said let's get into this all right we have uh oh well I guess I'm starting with my Twin Flame cards. Uh, this is a deck for Twin Flames. If you are in that sort of thing, stick around. If you're interested, stick around. We have in the realm of Twin Flames, love transcends the boundaries of time and space. Mm. So one thing in terms of meeting your Twin Flame and uniting with your Twin Flame is you need to work on you. Okay, you cannot be focused on another person outside of you if you want that person to be coming to you. It's such an interesting concept of, um, it's kind of like fishing. You, uh, you, you bring that bobbin, whatever, the, the, the bait, right, on the hook, right? You, you want that fish, so you put that hook you know, you fling it into the middle of the pond and you really hope and you're patient and you're waiting and lo and behold, this fish uh, bites and gets that bait and you know, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh wow, I have this fish. That's what's happening, okay? You are the fisher person, okay? You're the fisher person. You are the one who knows, it's almost as if like you know how to not that you want to bait your twin flame, okay? But it's almost as if you need to be, you need to be in your natural state as just like an authentic, individual, truthful person, okay? So that's the deal too is 
you have to be truthful there's a lot of lies that we grow up being conditioned to believe that our story and our real reality is like that and it's not no one's story no one's life is ever going to be the same as anyone else throughout any time space continuum dimension no matter what okay because you're living life in a perspective that's different than even your previous lives that you've lived because you know life is supposed to be viewed differently period it's supposed to be expressed differently period that is what the authentic individual qualities that feel so natural for you is going to be different from someone else like even your your family your parents your siblings the blood family um is going to be completely different in terms of your authentic individual traits and there's something about this whole catch and release uh when it comes to fishing i don't know why but fishing is just a really good visual maybe analogy of this right so it's kind of like you catch this fish in terms of twin flame and you're like you know no catch and release right if it's too small if it's too young if it's pregnant when i'm thinking of fish like you want to release it because you want that fish to have you know that advantage to still grow and be whatever whoever it is later on when it does get to that next stage because i'm getting that when it comes to you because twin flame is dealing with romance it's dealing with someone who is literally like the other side to you in terms of your authentic self and that's why it's so important to hone in on you and your authentic self because the more you know about you in terms of what fits with you naturally the more it will make sense for you in terms of who it is that is your twin flame because it's not going to be something you're going to have to try hard to do anything about because if it's not fitting naturally it's not going to be your twin flame period point blank yes but that doesn't mean that you can't um learn lessons about who you are in terms of your life with whoever it is that you're dating you know i totally get it though because this is clicking with me in terms of um, I used to think that when it comes to dating, whoever I'm dating at the time, I'm going to be with them forever. But I've recently shifted my belief in terms of wanting to just learn lessons of growing as my own individual, you know, adult human self, being truthful to who I am, but also having the morality and having the ethics of interacting outside and realizing that other people are living their own stories and there's something about looking at endings in terms of specifically romantic partnerships where it's trying to find the optimism about the whole kind of relationship or the partnership um, and releasing the pessimistic details of like what didn't go right kind of like a whole experiment okay and at the end you're just that the results that you're left with you want to be able to have that encouragement to push forward <laughs> and to keep maybe dating other people and kind of ooh, i'm getting like trying out different flavors of salsa or something I don't know why salsa just popped up but I'm getting like I went to Target the other day and they got a lot of salsa really inexpensive but cool flavors like they got this mango salsa that I have really good anyway but that's what I mean is like this whole kind of idea I'm getting of I don't know why but the whole freaking readings about twin flame okay anyway I'll put it in the title so we're all aware but this whole concept of twin flame you're realizing and you're like taking a step back from it and realizing that there's a lot of control that you've been giving to your twin flame in terms of the partnership where it's like you releasing it 
and thinking of control period and give it to the divine and be like the divine you take control you know what i mean because it's like this here's the thing when you realize that it's getting out of your hands like it's so chaotic this is this is way too much for me to handle and i i it's too much like it's hot potato sort of thing give it to the divine as a gift in the present state of awareness okay i like to say it like this I am giving you this present state of matter to you, divine, um, in terms of the twin flame matter. And I'm giving it to you and I am asking you to please take care of however you see fit in terms of handling this matter with love, with gratitude and appreciation for my human experience with this matter. <sighs> and that's it and I'm free of that matter because that's what's kind of holding up and getting more than anything on your part is there's a lot of past matter that already happened that needs to be released in order for you to see where you at right now. Uh, in order for you to see the standard of really what you wanna receive. Cause I'm getting that also you realize that you don't mind uh, contributing a lot of time and energy if you're going to get some kind of result that's so much more worth it and way less hassle in the end when dealing with kind of like getting the result period point blank okay we have two cards we got ship prosperity and then skull danger warning don't take unnecessary risks okay so here we go. So this comes up to me and I'm like, because you just saw me, we're all here together. Instantly my mind went to patience is a virtue. That's gonna be in the title. Baby, I'm putting that in the title, okay? <laughs> patience is a virtue. That's going to be an affirmation that, yo, if you choose to willingly put that in your freaking day, in your mind, in your focus, present state of awareness, it's going to be able to get you to a place where you are like speechless. Patience is a virtue. I am patient and I will absolutely receive something virtuous in the end. So Moda B, woo like a football game go team go team yeah 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 i'm cheering i'm cheering you on honestly this the life is so crazy it is so crazy and you know if you feel a little insane with life you're not alone me too i feel insane every day i'm like what the heck is happening but also right now we're going through mercury retrograde we just went through a solar eclipse uh, and then we also had, I believe, a full moon. I believe. But all. So it could be a new moon. Who knows? <laughs> it was either a full or new moon. I forget. But I believe it was an Aries. And when I say I believe, that's not 100%, you know, down pat. But, you know. Okay. So we have the Queen of Wands. There we go. So this is coming up as... In terms of taking those steps with your twin flame, um, or, okay, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up. In terms of your kind of like what you need to contribute when it comes to this whole twin flame collision, right? It's like a collision, but we want that collision to be more of a, you, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're meeting, and it's like, you, you, you touch and it's like you kiss, right? You don't want to go, right? You want to go. So that's where the patience, that's where the patience comes in. Because when you're patient, you're going to slowly take actions. When I said that, my mind went to how you feel is something that can give you so much indication of what the lesson you need to be aware of okay so when it comes to um 
you taking steps in terms of searching for your twin flame, working on yourself. This is about tuning into how you feel on the inside as you make different, and I'm getting new changes specifically because there are different kind of like, because I'm getting like a maze and it's kind of like you have to go, you, you didn't realize that it was um, a dead end because obviously with a maze, they don't tell you. Thank you guys. Like, can you put a sign up or something or an arrow or something, you know? Um, but anyway, so it's like you're at a dead end and you have to go back the way that you came and then you have to go to another kind of entryway and you're like, okay, this way. And there's something about, ooh, we got the king of swords too. So there's something about you knowing that you, it's something about knowing your worth is going to be able to also help you indicate if it's worth it in accepting whoever it is that you think could possibly be your twin flame, right? Because there's something about how you feel is also uh, a really huge indication on the, the person outside of you in terms of where they're at. And so it's easier, right, to be able to get what you want when you focus on you and not the other person. But that's that's the catch 22 of being a human being is, y'all, yeah, we're influenced so much and so subconsciously that you have to literally have habits to be aware of your subconscious kind of self, all right? And that's like shadow work, um, meditating so that you can stop focusing on your thoughts and more so focusing on your physical state of feeling, right? Um, that's kind of like, yeah, so anyway. So we have the Page of Wands, we got Temperance. Okay, Page of Wands was off to the side. Okay, taking a minute, taking a minute. We got Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and Temperance, Major Arcana AF. Are you kidding me? Woohoo! Y'all, go for a ride. Dang, man, dude. Oh boy. Okay, this is 10. So uh, Wheel of Fortune is 10, Justice is 11, and then Temperance is 14. And then we have Ace of Swords. That was flipped over like this. And then these are the cards that face like that. Okay, so definitely when you get, okay, so when you complete this stage of this, right? I'll read the energy in a second, but I wanna explain. Once you complete this, you will get this mm -hmm. this is like you've updated to uh your perspective of life currently but 2.0 because you got rid of a lot of hoarding matter i said hoarding not the other if you didn't think i said the d i put the d in that so it's hoarding okay okay <laughs> So you're going to be able to allow yourself to really see yourself. Boom. That's what's going to make this whole thing 2.0 better, right? Is seeing yourself in a way of knowing your worth, of knowing your virtue, of knowing what is that you can change, what you can control in your reality. Updated, the standard, the beliefs, your morals, your ethics, what you receive, what you give because you updated and you know you're like, it's like you are knowing yourself in a way where it's like you're cleaning the glass because I'm looking at my window and it's all gross and everything and I need to clean it. But it's like outside, right? But the thing is, is I can't clean outside because I'm on like the second floor, right? And my landlord won't let me clean outside. He won't let me get on the roof. And so it's like something of realizing it's out of my hands it's out of my control and that might be what this is more than anything 
balancing the way that you're see seeing what is in your control and what is it in your control and realizing that you don't need to focus on the matter that's out of your control. That's what you can give to the divine and be like, hey, can you give, can you take this? And the divine's like, yeah. The divine's so excited. The divine is so excited to take this matter. And it's like, I've been waiting for you, my sweet little supple human. Please give me this matter that you don't want in your life anymore. And I will take care of it with love of course with love because that's the other thing is you got to realize that this is um like it's the balance of order when it comes to society really is what you're really contributing to i know you're working on yourself right but you're also having a huge like help in the push of change when it comes to how to create our society in a more stable structure in a more kind of like because you're working on your individual self in the best way to really work on any kind of organization when it comes to kind of like detoxing is to work individually on literally every single person of the organization right and think of twin flames as this huge okay brought in your mind okay but think of it as like this huge pool of water right and there's not going to be a lot of people who are in this whole twin flame thing but if you are then you're in this pool of water because you choose to be in the twin flame pool of water okay and so there's something about the more you realize about your individual needs and wants in the present moment the more you're going to realize and align with your twin flame but it's also about i'm getting Ooh, okay, so I'm getting that there is also specifically a need to look at the way that you control, okay? And you can look at this in terms of your masculine side right now, because it did pop up earlier um, where it's how you're managing stress in your life and it's related, okay, look in terms of or ask yourself or do some journaling in terms of where you are currently acting arrogantly, dishonestly, and self-centeredly, self okay? And then also see if you have a hero adoration in terms of a father wound that could be kind of like a shadow work related question. These, this, what I just brought up is related to the need to control your environment due to past uh, unsafe environments that you've been conditioned. And that's where those beliefs are coming from is the past. So it's really awesome if you're able to allow yourself in the present to release those past beliefs. So you're free now to believe what fits more with you and how you live your life in a safe environment because right now you're in a safe environment. And yes, the past, it was unsafe, absolutely. But the past is no more. The past is at rest. We can only learn from it. We cannot change it. We cannot do anything with it except learn from it. And we can change what we need to within us in the present moment so that our future individually is better, okay? All right, cool. So that, yeah, that's the video. Wow, that was incredible. I was really, yeah, I was riding that wave myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope that's supporting you. I hope that it helps in terms of the clarity with the confusion. Um, it's really interesting being on the twin flame journey because you learn a lot about yourself about more of what... it's funny because I learn more about myself in terms of what I'm like in terms of my own behavior that I can change that when I do change it does help my outside of me what I want 
to have happen have happened so if you're like burnt out and it, you're like this is so much I highly recommend taking like a break and kind of just focusing on you and just releasing being part of the tw twin flame journey for now like and, and it's not like you're releasing it forever you don't have to it's whatever you choose in terms of how you release like your intention right but there's something about um i'm getting that your responsibility in terms of this is you and whoever it is your twin flame is they are not important right now okay you are important how you feel right now what your beliefs are right now what your morals are your ethics what it is, especially the standard of what you receive and what you give. But I'm getting more than anything receiving. Because right now you're like resting, okay? Recuperating and receiving. All right? So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, yeah. Thank you for the divine. Thank you for you, your spirit team, my spirit team. Thank you for the other side. Thank you just in general. Thank you. I'm so grateful to be able to do this. And I hope that you can just, I don't know, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Okay. Don't even do, you know, do whatever you want. It's your life, baby. I hope one day though that you can see how incredible you are. Because it is so awesome to see it within yourself. Okay. Bye.